Hey people, welcome back to another video of Circuit Digest. This is Ashwint and in this video, I will show you how we can build your very own USB hub extender like this one. So as we all know, a USB hub extender takes in one USB port of your laptop and converts it into multiple, uh, four in our case to be precise. And it can be used to interface various computer peripherals like your uh, keyboard, mouse, everything with your laptop. And as a tinkerer or hobbyist, if you're working with Arduino boards, then probably you will be connecting a lot of things to your laptop laptop while you're programming debugging and stuff like that so in this video I'm gonna show you how you can build your very own USB hub extender and for those who are following us already will also know that we'll be giving away these boards along with all the components and for the previous video we did a giveaway for thermal printers and the winners for the thermal printers are Mr. Abhijit Kumar, Mr. Hari Keshav and Mr. Vishal Soni. So please people get in touch with us either through this WhatsApp group or through this email ID that you can see here and we will get your address confirm everything and ship your goodies right to you so now let's get started with this project now before we get into the video it is important for me to announce the fabricators of these shiny black pcbs as well as the sponsors for this video pcb way so pcb way provides high quality pcb fabrication and prototype services they are well equipped to handle advanced and standard pcb designs and can also provide smd stencil and pcb assembly services they are known for their shorter lead time and quick customer response and they also support the maker community. So do consider giving them a try for your next PCB. So this is the complete schematics of our project along with the PCBs and the actual hardware itself. To explain you how everything works, we should start with the heart of this project, which is this IC. It is called the GL850G USB hub controller. It is from a company called Genesis Logic. And this is the IC which handles everything on this board. So what it does is it takes connection from this uh, USB input and splits it into these four uh, USB outputs. The more technical term for that is that this USB input is called the upstream USB and these four uh, USB outputs are called the downstream USB ports. So this IC which I told you here, the GL850G is a 28 pin uh, SMD IC which you can see over here and this IC has all the pins that you would need to convert one USB port into four peripherals. To give you a better understanding, you should first take a look at a simple uh, USB pin, how it looks like. So let's take any USB pin for that matter. Let's take a look at this USB port. As you can see, there will be uh, four pins on any USB uh, controller hub. As you can see, there will be four pins on any USB port and these four pins stand for VCC, data minus, data plus and ground, which is VCC on the top, data minus, data plus and then ground. So this 28 pin IC, which I told you earlier, uh, has the same pins, which is which can be used for this upstream USB as well as the downstream USB. If you take a closer look, you can find pins in the name of DP, which stands for data plus and DM, which stands for data minus. So on this 28 pins, there will be four pairs of uh, DPs and DMs. Uh, as you can see, we have the DP0, DM0, DP1, DM1, and then we have DP2, DM2, DP3 and DM3. So what happens is DP0 and DM0 is connected to the USB upstream and all the other DPs and DMs namely the 1, 2, 3 and 4 are connected to the downstreams. That is what exactly is being done here. Apart from that this IC also has inbuilt LDOs. Uh, LDOs are low dropout voltage regulators meaning it can convert 5 volt to 3.3 volt within this IC itself. The IC is powered by the pins uh, 23 and 24 which you can see over here. We are powering the pin number uh, 23 which is V5 with 5 volts and V3.3 V33 gives 3.3 volts. So 
moving on we have the uh, usb upstream circuit over here which is nothing but this area that you see here so the usb uh, mail port is shown over here and what we have done is we have just connected it to a usb protection ic so this ic is called the srv05 which is nothing but an array of diodes built inside a package you can see the ic over here so this IC over here is called the SRV05 which is used for ESD protection. So when you are touching any peripherals connected to your laptop there is a good chance that we might induce some electrostatic discharge in it and that might harm your USB hub controller or in the worst case your laptop itself. So to prevent any of that from happening we will be using our ESD protection ICs uh, which is nothing but an array of diodes in a small package like this thing you see here so this esd protection ic is not only used with the input usb but also with the output usbs which you can see here and here i will explain that when we get to that but apart from that on the usb input side there is nothing much we are just having these four pins we are taking the d plus to uh, dp0 which i told you earlier and d minus to dm0 and then we are also taking the 5 volt from our laptop you can see here which is plus 5 volt and this inductor here is used for uh, controlling the current which flows out of this this is not a mandatory according to usb design standards we have to use it but in our case there is a footprint for the inductor but we have just short circuited it uh, just to uh, save the number of components required for building this project and then uh, that's all with the usb USB uh, upstream uh, moving on we have the USB downstream uh, which is for all these four peripherals which you can see here one two three four again the story is pretty much the same we will be connecting the D minus and D plus to the DM1 and DP of this IC. So for uh, controller 1, we'll be connecting to DM1, DP1. For 2, we'll be connecting to DM2, DP2. For 3, we'll be doing it for DM3, DP3. And 4, we'll be doing it for DM4 and DP4. So this is for the uh, four uh, USB controllers, uh, which I uh, show you here. And then uh, we have the standard uh, filter capacitors, a combination of electrolytic and ceramic capacitor to filter out any ripples and then we have used two protection features or three protection features one is the ESD protection which I told you now the reason for having only two ICs for four USB is that one IC has two pairs of protection features as you can see IO0, IO2, IO3, IO4 so it can protect four data pins we have two from this controller USB hub and two from this USB port so a total of uh, four uh, data protection are given by this IC and this IC is used for the other two USB ports this is one protection the other protection is given using these PTCs which are R2 R4 R1 and R3 now uh, PTCs stand for positive temperature coefficient what happens is if there is a high current flowing through it it will increase the resistance and hence it will disconnect any current uh, flowing through this line so PTC is also another protection feature for over current now again we have not used any PTCs on our board for example if you can search for r1 r2 r3 or r4 for example r2 is over here and uh, if you can see r2 is also short circuited and there is no actual component soldered to it so yes we have short circuited the protection features like inductor and resistor just to minimize the number of components are required but yes if you're building it according to standard usb guidelines you should be using a PTC for overcurrent protection and an inductor to limit the current that's flowing through and in and out of your USB hub controllers. Then moving on we have the section for uh, uh, related to this uh, GL850GIC. The three sections are the reset circuit section, the gang indicator and the crystal oscillator. Now this IC over here requires a crystal oscillator which you can see on the board over here. It is a 12 megahertz crystal oscillator. We have just used the crystal oscillator along with two ceramic capacitors. X1 and X2 are connected to the IC over here. X1 and X2 then we have something called gang indicator 
which kind of indicates whether this usb hub controller is ready to take in more peripherals and work with it so as long as this red led is glowing it means the controller is ready to process uh, more data and you are uh, free to connect more peripherals to any of these usb hub controller so most of the times you will see this red led on and you will be able to connect peripherals to these usb ports and then we have the reset circuit whenever there is a low voltage coming out of this uh, USB uh, uh, port then the reset circuit will trigger our uh, USB hub controller and the peripherals will shut down on its own. Then the last section here is the power section which I told you earlier we have our barrel jack over here. So what it does is that as long as there is no power provided from this barrel jack these USB hub uh, sorry USB controllers will work with the power provided by uh, the laptop's battery when you provide 5 volts to here it will stop getting power from your laptop and it will be powered from the uh, current that you're providing through the adapter how that happens is uh, everything is done taken care of this barrel jack over here as we know our barrel jack has has two pins for negative and when a controller when a jack is inserted in we will be having a disconnection between the pins s2 and f3 as a result uh, whenever there is a power inserted inside the barrel jack the uh, vcc will be provided directly from the barrel jack in our case 5 volts and whenever the jack is removed whenever the male plug is removed there will be a short circuit between s2 and f3 and hence it will be uh, triggering this MOSFET because it is connected to the ground and hence this VCC will be powered from the 5 volt supply which you can see over here. So yeah that is how the uh, USB external power supply works whenever you plug this in we will be getting power from directly from the barrel jack whenever you remove it there will be a short circuit this uh, p self will be triggered from this ground signal and as a result the mosfet will connect the 5 volts which we obtained from our male usb port directly to the vcc and hence all your usb uh, output peripherals will get uh, the vcc uh, 5 volts from here so that is it the circuit diagram is very simple as i told you everything is taken care of by this ic over here and as far as the pcb design is considered that is also pretty simple uh, one thing that you might want to take care is about differential routing because you are dealing with data lines over here so you should make sure that the distance between both the positive and the negative data lines are same which is achieved by differential routing you can check out the documentation where you can find the Gerber file as well as more explanation on how the routing is done and how a differential routing is done. So I can also show you differential routing over here. You can see these uh, zigzag lines on this PCB which indicates differential routing done to the data lines of each USB hub controllers. So yes, again, if you want to see the complete Gerber file, you can check it out from the documentation. Link for all is given at the description. Now that you know how the complete circuit diagram works, all you have to do is proceed with making a PCB. If you want, you can also check out the Gerber file for this PCB provided at the link given in the description of this video. And once you're ready with the Gerber file, all you have to do is to fabricate your PCBs. And for that, we recommend PCBWay.com. All you have to do is to get into their website PCBWay.com. Upload your Gerber file, select the style for your PCB, proceed with payment and within a couple of weeks your PCBs will arrive at your doorstep. We got ours from PCB Way as well and as you can see the quality of these PCBs are really really good. You can check for yourself the fabrication is perfect, the wires, the pads, everything are in the right place and all I have to do was to proceed with assembling the components. You can see the assembled board here and once it is assembled I just had to plug it into my laptop and start testing it. So let me show you how we did that.
before i leave as promised i will tell you how you can participate in the giveaway and win these pcbs with all its components and few other extra goodies from circuit digest all you have to do is get into this link which will take you to our giveaway page enter your details and tell me where will you use a usb hub extender in your project like how will you improve this version uh, i can think of a lot of ideas already but i want to hear it from you let me know how you will improve this usb hub design and for the best answers we'll be giving away these boards along with its components thank you for watching have a nice day if you like the video do click on the subscribe button and also comment your thoughts on it have a nice day thank you bye bye